fans. I'll never forget that night, especially the rocket's blazing eyes. Of course, they didn't really blaze. Or did they? <laughs> no matter. It's part of hockey's memorable moments, and there are lots more I'll be bringing to you. Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh, ouch! Meanwhile, it's back to the old grind. Some of these heartfelt moments I'd like to forget. See ya, kids! Howdy, hockey fans! It's your old poke check professor, Peter Puck, with a few interesting items about one of the real old mugs of hockey. As a matter of fact, it's the oldest trophy competed for by professional athletes in North America. Hey, watch it! Whoa! No, this isn't the old mug I'm talking about. It's over here! This is it, the old Stanley Cup, the symbol of hockey. It's almost as old as ice hockey in North America, which started a long time ago. The first recorded ice hockey game was played in Kingston, Ontario in 1860, but the first formal rules were drawn in 1879 in Montreal. In those days, the goal had no net, just two posts. And when the puck went between them, it was a score. And the goal judge waved a hanky. It was a fast and furious game right from the start and rapidly gained national attention in Canada. So much so that in 1893, a representative of Canada's Governor General, Frederick Arthur, Lord Stanley of Preston, the man who donated the trophy, presented it to Montreal AAA champs, an amateur team. Ironically, Lord Stanley never saw a Stanley Cup game. The original cup cost $48.67 and was about the size of a football. In fact, at one victory celebration, the old mug was drop kicked onto a frozen canal in Ottawa and left unceremoniously until the following morning. A championship Montreal team was once photographed with the cup, but they left the studio without the trophy. It was found by the photographer's mother, who used it for a flower pot for a while. The old cup, once captured, had a history of being ignored. The Ottawa Senators' King Clancy, a Hall of Famer coach and current VP of the Toronto Maple Leafs, left it in his living room as a catch-all for letters, bills, gum, and cigar butts. <coughs> hey, watch it, fella! <coughs> Show a little respect for a symbolic heritage. In 1924, another Montreal player had to fix a flat tire on the way to a victory celebration, but he left the Stanley Cup on a street corner. Fortunately, it was found later that night. And you watch it too, Bowser. Yep, the old mug weathered a lot of rough going. It's had its face lifted a few times along the way. Additional silver sections were added, and what with all the engraving over the many years, the Stanley Cup's value is said to be over $15,000. This top section is an exact copy of the original trophy in every detail. The original is preserved in the Hockey Hall of Fame vault in Toronto. Since 1910, when the National Hockey Association took possession of the Stanley Cup, it has been the symbol of professional hockey supremacy. But even before that, teams went all out for the prize trophy, too. Let me show you. Here's my old diary. It says in 1904, a Dawson City team challenged the Ottawa Silver Seven for the Stanley Cup. They traveled 4,400 miles by dog sled, boat, and train, led by the famous King of the Klondike, Colonel Joe Boyle. It took 23 days to get to Ottawa, where they were defeated by the great Silver Seven, 9-2 and 23-2. It was a memorable series. In the second game, Ottawa's fantastic one-eyed Frank McGee went on a scoring rampage. He zinged in 14 goals with eight of them consecutive scores in eight minutes and 20 seconds, an all-time record. In one early Stanley Cup series between Winnipeg and Montreal, a heated argument about a ruling caused the referee to leave in a huff, resulting in the only uncompleted game in the history of the Cup series and their stories about standing player courage. Take the Toronto Bobby Bond saga in 1964. In a Stanley Cup game with Detroit, he was carried from the ice on a stretcher late in the game. After he was revived, he returned to score the winning goal. Only after the deciding game did he admit to a broken leg and have a cast put on it. His team had won and he was named one of the stars. 
All the breaks went his way, you might say. <laughs> but that's typical of the player's desire in the Stanley Cup playoff series. Since 1917, the National Hockey League has competed for the Cup and has done so exclusively since 1926. It is awarded annually to the team winning the best of seven championship playoff rounds. The oldest award competed for by professional athletes in North America, the Stanley Cup. So, let's get on with the show. The world's fastest team sport. It's NHL time. Whoops! Keep your eye on me, folks. Keep watching Hockey Night in Canada, kids. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> 